What is up guys, it is the Citrus Fan here today, and I'm coming at you with episode 43 of my Adventure Quest Let's Play. So last episode we were messing around with my house and stuff. Um, I'm not really sure what we were doing. I guess I just kind of wanted to get a house ready for whenever I needed one in the future. And also it's an investment because when you buy one, eventually it will be worth more money. So now we're going to be doing the secret part of the... 10th anniversary quest. Now this is actually the longest one I remember on my main. It's not the hardest one, but it's the longest one because it does take a while. You gotta kill 11 bosses. Um, I remember this guy has tons of health. I do remember that. Yep. On my main he had like twice that, but uh, he was quite the annoying guy to kill because he hit like about nothing, but uh, he had so much health it was ridiculous. So some stats I was training. I got 20 endurance, 140 intellect, 110 dexterity, and 10 luck. So, I got a little bit of luck because I want, sometimes I get lucky strikes, um, so I want to get those sometimes, but um, right now my build, what I'm trying to get is mostly leveling up intellect and some dexterity, and then once I get my intellect to 150 and my dexterity to 120, I'm going to get my luck to probably 20 or 30, I'm not sure yet, but uh, my end build, uh, I'm going to get Dexterity 200, Intellect 200, well, Intellect will be 200 first, uh, then Dexterity will be, and I'm going to get Luck as high as it can go, um, so I'm not sure if that will get all the way to 200, I think it might be able to get all the way to 200, I'm not sure if you can have three skills all the way at 200, I think you can, and then you can have one with, at 150, so if I can do that, I'm going to have 200 Dex, 200 Intellect, 200 Luck, and 150 Endurance, something like that. But I don't know if that's possible. It might be like 50 endurance. I haven't done the math yet, but I know you get five skill points per level, so you just have, I would just have to do the math from there. Anyways, uh, as you can clearly see, uh, since my last video, I did quite a bit of farming at Drakeath. Um, I don't know what level I was last video, but I just actually killed Drakeath like um, a couple of seconds ago, basically, like before I started recording. I was I decided to kill him, and then I was coming to record a video. But uh, I got a whole level, and then I got uh, 6k away, so I think by the end of this, well, maybe by the end of killing all these bosses, and then killing Secret, and then killing Secret's head, maybe I will be done, so. Anyway, it's besides the point, this quest is going to take quite a bit of time. I thought about speeding some things up, which I probably will end up doing, because, um, I don't know. I mean, I could show you what I'm doing, but these guys are all decently easy. Um, except this guy who just takes a long time to kill. Um, I'm actually going to pause this recording on this guy and then come back later whenever he's almost dead because I'll show you guys the other when I'm fighting the other people, but this guy is going to take a long time. So, I'll be back. Okay, and now we're back. Uh, it was just taking a while. I used my mana staff to heal a bunch of mana, then I just started spamming it. Um, I actually took my Twilly off because he was just healing me. I didn't really need healed. And I replaced him with uh, my Truffle, which helped me out quite a bit on that fight. So, anyway. Um, lights. And if you're ever wondering why I use this full set when I'm casting spells, it's just because um, it gives me the chance of completely blocking an attack. And why I use this set, even if I'm not um, casting spells, if I'm just attacking, why I keep this armor and the shield on. Um, the armor itself can make you pull into the shadows and just dodge an attack. Uh, the shield can uh, make you make the enemy's accuracy drop considerably. And if you have the whole set on, like I said, you can act it actually has like a bit even a bigger chance of just completely ignoring the enemy attack. So overall, it's a really good set to use. Plus, it looks awesome, so I like using it. And generally speaking, it is my best overall gear. Um, if I wanted to. Uh, protect against a certain element I could with this you know with this set out like light or something but really I could do that put on I mean sparkle shield I mean pretty much if I put my, on my adventure shield it's almost as good as any of my armors that I could have so against an element other than darkness or in the case that I really need good defense I like sometimes will put on my adventure shield although a lot of times I won't I'll just keep on my awesome shield over there because it lowers their accuracy uh, the less amount of chance they have to hit me the better because I won't have to deal with them okay so terrestria okay 
Um, earth damage, uh, lights, energy. We'll use that energy. What else? Wind. We'll use wind. I love. I love the Griffin strike. It hits quite a bit usually. So. Yeah, here's another example of someone who got updated. I think so. I don't know. Maybe that's just the the icon for the head, but it looks to me like he can considerably or her. I guess. Yeah. Um. She got considerably upgraded from what she used to look like. <laughs> She actually has eyes and stuff now. Anyway, let's see here. Um, oh yeah, by the way, when I get, I was going to do the Overload quest soon, but I'm gonna wait till I'm level 60 to do it because there's no point in getting level 45 armor now when I could just do the quest to get level 60 armor uh, in a little bit. So I'm gonna get level 60, then I'm gonna do the Overload quest now. The armor at level 60, uh, the shield gets minus 11% to fire. I mean, 18, 18%, sorry. And the armor is like, I think it was like 67 or 68. Um, overall, I forget what it is exactly, but um, overall, my resistance to fire after that will be like 51 if I'm wearing that full set, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, also, the fire weapon is there. There's a magic fire sword, like it's like the weapon that's there. It's a, actually like a magic weapon and it's a sword. Uh, it's really awesome. Now I'm happy about that because I cannot seem to find a good fire weapon that has a worthwhile special attack. Um, the Hellbane that I used to have, it had a darkness and a fire special attack that hit garbage first of all. Whoops, I accidentally used my attack. It hit garbage first of all. And that wasn't like the real problem though. The problem was that uh, it kind of healed. Like a fire is, mo is a lot of times good against undead creatures, right? So, if I'm using it, or darkness in general, so a lot of times you use fire against someone who's darkness, uh, not this guy, but a lot of times you use fire against like undead things, but darkness a lot of times heals undead things, or it hits really low on undead things, and the thing would end up healing them, like you saw that like, on my Dracath video when I was killing him, um, well I'm not sure if you actually saw that, it might have been off camera when I was farming him earlier, but he um actually healed him like quite a bit of damage with that special attack and i was like oh crap and i switched out weapons um and then i bought this weapon the beast slayer staff which really isn't much better okay guys i don't even know what happened the audio got cut out there for like a little bit um i accidentally pressed the pause button and then i kept on talking so anyways i'll get back to what i was trying to say um yeah anyways it, it shoots like a laser out of its mouth and then the blade jumps out of the staff um, it kind of looks cool, but it doesn't do like anything at all pretty much. So yeah This guy is almost dead. Um, I'm gonna have to split this into a couple of videos I guess I was gonna actually speed it up, but I might as well just kind of split it in a couple of videos because Just speeding things up isn't the best thing to do um, And I'll try to split uh, I'll try to do at least half of them this video um, It seems like I'm probably I can probably do something like that <clears throat> Light crossbill, okay, here we go Oh, okay. Um, also, I got Fallout New Vegas yesterday. Um, if you don't know right now, but the Steam Summer Sale is on right now. If you ever want a game, now is the time to get it. I'll tell you what. Uh, Steam Summer Sale has ridiculous deals on everything. Everything on Steam right now is on sale. Yet, um, there are the daily deals. You don't want to buy something if it's not on a daily deal, because it will be eventually. There's daily deals, which are really good. I got Fallout New Vegas on that. There are flash sales. Every eight hours, they change, and they're really good. And there's community choice, where you vote on the ones you want. Um, if, you, if you've ever wanted to play Fallout New Vegas, or you've ever heard of it, um, I recommend checking it out. One second. Sorry, the looting scheme was taking a while. Anyways, so like I said, um, I got it really cheap. I got it on the, it was a daily deal, and it was 75% off, so it was $2.49, or it was $5 for the Ultimate Edition. Now, I didn't really know anything about the DLC or anything like that, but I just went ahead and got the DLC because I thought, well, it's only like two fifty dollars ch like, cheaper to get it, the game itself, but it's uh, only like... 250 more to get it with the DLC, so I thought, I thought why not? <clears throat> and I got it with the DLC, and that's pretty much it. But I played the game for like five hours yesterday. I got on the game and I played it for five hours. 
sounds ridiculous, but it was like late at night and I had nothing else to do. It was kind of funny. I got on at like 8 and then I played until when? Like 1 o'clock or something like that? It was something like that. It was around 1. Um, but anyway, let's see here. Wind attack. Um, but they change every single day and also if you're still interested in possibly playing Fallout New Vegas, it's only 249 If you want the Ultimate Edition, it's 5 bucks. But um, every single sale on, on Steam, last time I checked, it was like an hour of the sale left. However, every single Steam sale right now, uh, the day after, it is also on the bottom of the Steam thing. It was like yesterday's big deals, and then you can go down there and you can actually get the deals from yesterday. Um, and then after tomorrow, they will be gone forever. Well, seeing as it's Fallout New Vegas, it probably will go on sale again, but who knows? Who knows? Although I did have lots of fun with that game, I should I, I kept on saying I should get on my bench quest and kill Drake a bunch of times, but I kept on like trying to do like another quest and another quest and yeah, I just kept on playing for a while. So I ended up not getting on a bench quest last night. I did get on um bench quest this morning though, as you can see. Let's see. Um, I guess it wasn't really the morning. It's like twelve forty three here, but. I got my braces off. I had to wake up at like 9 and then go to the doctor um, and get my braces taken off, which isn't bad because now I can chew gum. And I think I'll go back like next week or something like that to get my retainer. Uh, braces kind of suck, but hey, they're not they're not horrible. I mean, I think retainers are much worse because you've got to take them in and out. You've got to clean them. And uh, if you don't clean them, they smell really bad. And you've got to take them in and out, like in the case, and you have to carry a case around or put them in their pocket or whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of retainers. With braces, you can just brush your teeth like normal. Uh, you don't really have to clean anything, you don't have to take them out for anything. I mean, sure, you can't chew gum, but I don't know. I mean, not being able to chew gum is not that hard to do, it's uh, pretty easy <laughs> to accomplish. Hmm, Doc Sawbones. Buddy, you're gonna die today. You're gonna die. Anyway, I did upload a video earlier today of me fixing up my house. Well, not fixing it up, but me building a house, cutting down the trees and stuff. Uh, that was actually last night at some point. It was kind of late when I up. Well, I can't actually remember. I think it might have actually been. Yeah, I guess it was yesterday that I recorded it. Um, the same time that I recorded the other video that I made uh, when I was. I can't remember what I did last time. Nah, you I thought I did like. Oh yeah, I did that one quest. I think I was doing the uh, tenth anniversary quest still. So, uh, I think the only things I've done in the past couple of videos is do the tenth anniversary quest. That's kind of why I wanted to take a little bit of a break and do the house thing. Okay, now I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna start out the video next time, and we'll finish out the quest hopefully.